The views and opinions expressed on Eye on the Triangle do not represent WKNC 88.1 or NC State student media. Your dial is currently turned to Eye on the Triangle on WKNC 88.1 FM HD1 Raleigh. Thank you for listening. Triangle listeners, and welcome back, students, for the semester. I'm Ellie Figgy with Eye on the Triangle, and I am so glad to welcome you back, and we are so excited to be back with your Monday morning news. I'm curious to know if anyone made any resolutions and if they have still kept them up this far. Uh, We're nearing the end of January, surprisingly. Um, And one thing that is important to me is to try new things. And today we're going to talk about opportunities for NC State students to try new things with the Student Involvement Fair. So we're going to take a little lap around and learn what people are doing um, in different organizations and right here at WKNC. There's a lot of good stuff coming for you guys today. All right, before we take a trip out to the other organizations, we're going to stop here at WKNC and talk about how you can get involved here at our own organization. Who am I here with? Erie Mitchell, the uh, general manager of WKNC. Uh, Nice to have you, Erie. Uh, Obviously, a significant part of our organization and um, very familiar with the things that we have going on here. So how can students get involved at WKNC? We take applications for content at any time. On our website, there's a whole Get Involved section where you can see there are trainings for content and... um, just kind of everything that we're doing. We're always talking about stuff on social media. And um, if you're able to get DJ application in last second, do that. Otherwise, again, content will be great. And DJ stuff will be at the beginning of next semester, including the summer. We'll have summer stuff. What are some of the opportunities outside of DJing that you can do here? Yeah, we got all kinds of content. We got blogs. We have uh, podcasts, videos, and interviews. And again, you can get involved with those at any time. Just literally email us. Um, My email is wknc-manager at ncsu.edu. And I'm always looking for more content. I think of myself more as a WKNC member than as an NC State member at this point. The community is just so special. We do all kinds of things. Just in the studio, those late nights, um, the cool events we do, which... If you join, you'll find out about those. Uh, but yeah, it's been been wonderful, and I'm uh, it's my last semester here, and I'm I'm definitely gonna miss it. Awesome. Well, Erie and I are going to adventure out and see some of the other organizations. All right, on our first stop out, we're hanging out with our neighbors at the Technician. Who am I here with? My name is Jamison Wolf. And what do you do at the Technician? Um, I'm one of two co-editors in chief. Mm-hmm. How would you advise for new students to get involved? Yeah, so one of the best ways to get involved is to just shoot us an email at um, technician-editor at ncsu.edu. We can get you in touch with the right people depending on what you're interested in, whether you're interested in writing, photography, videography, design, copy editing. Um, We can get you in touch with the right people. You're also always more than welcome to stop by our office on the third floor of Witherspoon. We're in Witherspoon 323. All of our um, staff members start as correspondents, Um, and so whether you're a writing correspondent, a video correspondent, a design correspondent, that's really your training period. Um, You get to go out on assignments, you get to do a lot of shadowing sessions with more experienced writers, photographers, videographers, Um, and then once you complete your correspondency requirements, you can be a paid staff member. I have one more question. Um, How has being part of this influenced your time at NC State? Wow, it has hugely influenced my time at NC State. Um, I've completely changed directions um, with kind of what I want my career to be based on my work here with Technician. Um, It's given me a really fantastic community of people to spend a lot of time with each and every week. Um, And it's really allowed me to understand and know what's going on on campus much better. Um, Absolutely. I think that that's one of the greatest benefits of being in student media. You're involved in something and then you see what everybody else is involved in you would never would have known of otherwise. Exactly, exactly. Well, it was great to talk to you, Jameson. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, likewise. Absolutely. What is your name? Hi, I'm Akhil. Uh, I'm a master's student getting my uh, degree in electrical engineering. In what organization are you representing? So I'm representing the Student Amateur Radio Society. I'm the vice president of the Student Amateur Radio Society. Very cool. And how can people get involved? We have um, we have a website, we have an Instagram uh, page, and we also call on net every week and stuff. We have plans for more involvement activities and uh, could we also email people about stuff? Uh, it's w4atc-stars at the red ncsu.edu.
usually ham radio is the uh, society that's associated with you know slightly older people you know since they have a lot more free time and resources but there's a younger generation of ham radio uh, enthusiasts coming up and they'll get they'll get they'll get a chance to be a part of this younger community that looks to do you know more gen z stuff with ham radios and stuff okay very cool it was great to meet you it was great to and meet thank you too. thank you for being on thank you for having me who am i here with you're here with Reagan Boostabad. I am the president of the Studio 804 Ballet Company. So there's two different ways to get involved. We have a more advanced company that um, students can audition for and then become involved with. We have classes three times a week and then we have a big showcase at the end of each semester. And then we also have a more beginner level um, opportunity in the form of community classes that are once a month and anyone can join those and they're just super fun way to get involved in the arts and dance. We meet on Sundays from 11 to 1 and then Tuesdays and Thursdays from 8 to 9.30 in the dance studios in Carmichael Gym. Okay, thank you so much. It was great to meet you, Ray. Thank you so much. Who am I here with? Maroslava Kalan. And Will Cowan. And what do you represent? Pack the Pulse Ambassadors. It is uh, an organization that is promoting uh, civic engagement on campus and we promote uh, also, we're looking forward to promote voting early here on campus. Yeah, we're a nonpartisan group. We're just here trying to help make it easier for people to vote um, and be an informed voter. How can students get involved? Yeah, so we have a number of presentations that we can give out to classes and student organizations. Um, you can just come talk to us, or if you really want to get involved, you can apply to become an ambassador. Okay. Also, we are developing a few uh, early voting capsules all across campus, and we are developing voting toolkits all across campus as well. Okay. So it's going to be during February. My name is Jake Andrichuk. I am the UAB Spirit Chair. And my name is Christopher Myers. I'm the UAB Entertainment Chair. Uh, so my freshman year, I saw in one of the newsletters, they talked about UAB and how like they put on uh, programming throughout the year for the student body, and it sounded interesting. And uh, I joined my freshman year, and now in my junior year, I've moved up to a chair position. So, uh, you know, it's a really good org and has a lot of like opportunities to uh, take on leadership positions if you want. Yeah, same deal. I was in my freshman year residence hall like being like, how do I get involved? And I got an email about UAB, so I just clicked a link and filled out an application. Um, yeah, and the rest is history, and I've gotten all kinds of awesome leadership experience out of it. I've gotten to go to like conferences on conferences, meet awesome people within the university, so it's been really great. Like, ask questions, ask your RA, ask your friends, ask your professors, go into the student involvement suite. It's usually open to students. Ask the interns. They always have really fantastic questions or um, an like answers to questions. Come to the UAB suite. We're on the fourth floor as well. We're happy to like point y'all to some orgs that we like. Um, our doors are always open for conversation or question about our events. And yeah, just like make sure to ask questions, use the resources you have around you. Who am I here with? Uh, my name's Brooke Ashby. I'm our coordinator for student organizations in the Student Leadership and Engagement Office. My name is Jacob Bailey. I'm one of the student leadership advocates for the semester. And Brooke, you coordinated the Student Leadership Fair, Involvement Fair? Yes, I did. So I was able to put on the whole event, um, and I'm so excited to have so many orgs here represented as well. Awesome. Uh, how did you both get involved, and what would you say to a student who was interested in getting involved? I got pretty lucky. Last year, I did the Leadership Development Program, and that helped me uh, get the job I'm currently working. Yeah, so... Um, Luckily, this is something I get to do, so I help support all of our student orgs on campus. And so, for me, this is a way to bring everyone together, um, for folks to naturally meet, have some collaborations, and for students to find their sense of belonging, hopefully, on campus. So, find orgs they're interested in, help find their community here. Hi, my name is Vanessa Dixon. And what organization are you a part of? Student Gov! Woo! <laughs> Um, I got involved actually through this spring involvement um, event. I was a Spring Connect student last semester or last year um, and I came and I saw all the stuff and I got involved. I um, had to go through the whole election process and it was super cool, super interesting and I won my chess seat bro. I am now a student senator. If you're interested just reach out to any of your senators or go on the um, and state website and search for student gov and we have a ton of um, positions open so yeah. Who am I here with? Justin Garrett. Farah Honaini. I'm the event coordinator for BSB. I'm also an event coordinator for BSB. 
So as BSB event coordinators, we create events for students on campus just to unify everybody and create an inclusive environment so anybody can come out um, to come to our events and just have fun. Um, we have uh, a general body sign up on our Instagram and just keep in touch on our social medias because that's where we post most of our information and yeah. Who am I here with? Hi, you're here with Naturi Atkinson. And what organization are you a part of? So I'm an outreach coordinator for Feed the Pack, and that is a food pantry on campus open to all student, faculty, and staff. We have perishables, health and hygiene, non-perishables, more than just cans, so. Who does Feed the Pack benefit? Feed the Pack benefits the entire campus of NC State. So like I said, the student, faculty, and staff, anyone experiencing food insecurity, uh, health and hygiene insecurity, anything like that, we have things to support you. And we also have other um, resources as well if, if we can't support you in that way. If you are listening and you're interested, please visit Feed the Pack. Google, Google Feed the Pack. We should be literally the first one that comes up. And then you can either sign up to volunteer with us or sign up to, you know, get a tour or anything like that. Come by. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. My name is Sydney. Uh, my name is Aaron. We're with the National Parks Club. Focused on volunteering, gaining public awareness for our uh, public and national parks and just having a good time overall. This club is a great opportunity for you to get out and get to see a lot of our national parks and even state parks. Once a month we'll go on hikes, once a month we'll also do volunteer work, so stuff like streamside cleanups and things along those lines. And once a semester we'll get out and we'll go and we'll visit a national park and it's a lot of fun, it's a great opportunity for you to meet plenty of people, make great friends, and just get out and get to appreciate and see what we have to offer. Follow us on Instagram to get all of our updates um, at National Parks Club. We have meetings twice a month where they'll learn about all our upcoming events. Um, and there's no attendance uh, requirements or fees, um, so they're free to join as many or as little events as they want. My name is Justice Skinner, and I am president of the Arch. So we have meetings usually every, um, every week, twice a week, um, where we just meet up at some of the courts in Carmichael, and get together and just have fun shooting, learn some of the basic rules and get to practice as well. Any be skill level is welcome, beginner to experience. So I would go to our Instagram where in our bio we have the link to the Discord um, so you can join that and that's where we put all our updates as well as um, come to events like this where you can sign up for our email list and receive those updates as well. Um, my name is Josue Bustos. I am the vice president for NCSU Club Beach Volleyball. I will just love volleyball since I got here since I was a freshman and I looked into beach and I absolutely loved it so I started playing. Definitely go to our Instagram which is NCSU Beach Club Volleyball. I love every single of my teammates. We all have each other's backs and it's just a wonderful community to be in. I'm uh, Ben Usher. I'm with the sailing club at NC State. Uh, no sailing experience is needed. And we're looking for uh, anyone that's at all interested. We teach people to sail. We have a good time. It's a lot of fun. My name is Shire. And what club are you a part of? We're part of the Discomfort Club. What's the Discomfort Club? So the Discomfort Club is all about providing new experiences for students to step outside of their comfort zone for personal growth and self-improvement, pretty much. Earlier in this interview, I talked about how my New Year's resolution is to do things that i never done before and was scared to do. That this sounds awesome. like, the like the, the perfect, mission. The club for you. <laughs> what kind of things do you guys do? Uh, so we've done like water polo, um, fencing. Uh, we've done a lot of workshops. So we've done like goal setting workshops, like personal values workshops as well. So I started this uh, last year. And so we're just kind of just build, building it up. Visit our website, uh, thediscomfortclub.com or follow us on Instagram at NCSU underscore discomfort. Hi, I'm Kyla. I'm the president of EWV, Engineers Without Borders. And I'm Carrie. I'm project lead for the Guatemala water system. So we have a couple of different projects um, focused in sustainable development. Um, one of them is local in Raleigh. Um, we're working with Interfaith Food Farm to build a hydroponic system at their um, greenhouses. And then we have three international projects, two in Sierra Leone and then one in Guatemala. Um, yeah, working on renewable energy and water quality access. Very cool. What do you both of you guys study? Uh, I study chemical engineering. And I study mechanical engineering. There's a lot of uh, really cool people you can meet through this organization, and it's a great way to get some service work um, and get to do things outside of the classroom. So I'm Lauren. I'm Grace, and we are the Sports Science Club at NC State. What does a Sports Science Club do? Um, we hear from different professionals in sports science, like athletic trainers, physical therapists. Do both of you have a major within the uh, sports science industry? 
Both of our minors are sports science. And what would a student do if they were interested in getting involved? They can follow us at Sports Science Club NCSU on Instagram. They can also find us on the Get Involved website for NC State Clubs. Hi, I'm Casey Denmark. I'm the FFA Alumni Supporter Club uh, Sentinel. My name is Sierra Wagner. I am the reporter for the FFA Alumni and Supporters. Um, to me, the FFA is a door opener. It just provides you so many opportunities you wouldn't have known about beforehand. Before I was in the FFA, I would have never known that I'd be going to the major that I am in right now, which is agriculture education. Uh, but through FFA, I was able to find my passions and grow as a leader and in my career. That's awesome. What would you say to a student who's interested? How would they get involved? So a good way to be, get involved would be to like talk to any of the officers, anybody that could be like in our club or just anybody within the cows department or just interested in agri agriculture whatsoever. Hey, very cool. It was nice to meet you both. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And that is going to mark the end of our round trip through the Student Involvement Fair. We had a great time today, and I hope that you learned a lot. And students, I hope that you found something new to get involved with. Once again, I am Ellie Figgy with Out on the Triangle. You are listening to 88.1 WKNC HD1 Raleigh. Tech giant Microsoft has responded to concerns about the environmental impact of discontinuing support for Windows 10 by offering extended security updates. The move is expected to help states like North Carolina avoid a massive increase in electronic waste as people ditch their old PCs for newer models. The decision comes in response to more than 20,000 petition signatures collected by the Public Interest Research Group. Lucas Gutterman with PERG says when support for Windows 10 is set to end in 2025, up to 400 million devices could face obsolescence. And that means that people either need to dispose of those PCs and replace them and buy a new one, or they'll be left unsecure against potential attacks um, from folks that are exploiting that older operating system. Gutterman says the extended security update program set to begin in 2025 will come with additional costs for individuals, schools, and businesses. It's estimated about 50,000 tons of computer equipment is already discarded in North Carolina each year, along with more than 30,000 tons of television sets. Gutterman points out this move by Microsoft represents a step in the right direction to reduce the environmental impact of outdated technology. However, he believes further measures should be taken to address the issue Issues such as automatically extending support. It's not just Microsoft, it's not just Google, it's not just Apple. The entire industry really needs to have things that are designed to last. And it does seem like they are listening to folks that stand together and ask them to do that. According to PERG, the manufacturing of these devices has already resulted in about 46 million tons of climate pollution, or the equivalent of adding 9 million cars on the road for a year. For North Carolina News Service, I'm Shantia Hudson. Find our trust indicators at publicnewsservice.org. Diet and exercise ads may be all your social media feed is filled with in January. However, resolutions that maintain balance are best for the heart. In 2020, about 7% of North Carolina adults reported they'd had a heart attack. Dietitians and the American Heart Association are reminding people to mind their heart health and overcome excuses in their post-holiday dieting. Registered dietitian Ariel Johnston says so-called yo-yo dieting or crash diets, which are often popular after the holidays, can be detrimental to heart health. A lot of the rhetoric that we hear at this time of year as far as like this is how many pounds people gain during the holidays and then you're going to start seeing all the advertising for the new diets coming up. Yes, people might lose weight and maybe improve lipid profiles a little bit, but really they aren't sustainable. Winter weather can be another trigger for increased heart attack risk with cold temperatures restricting blood flow through already constricted blood vessels. But the research says even in a mild climate, about one third more heart attack deaths occur in December and January than in June through September. September. Johnston says it's fine to enjoy your favorite foods too, but add something to help keep your food intake balanced and think of creative ways to satisfy your palate. Maybe you have your favorite recipes that 
was handed down from grandma and you want to make that recipe and maybe it's not the most quote unquote heart healthy, you can still have that, but let's add some greens or a salad or your appetizers that include some fruits and veggies. You don't want to deprive yourself of those favorite things. The Heart Association also has recipes online that can help with healthier substitutions or additions to daily meals. Also on the AHA North Carolina website, you can sign up for 100 Ways in 100 Days, a series of daily emails to kickstart healthier habits for the new year. For North Carolina News Service, I'm Chantia Hudson, Funder Trust Indicators at publicnewsservice.org. Thank you for listening to this episode of Eye on the Triangle, the public affairs program of WKNC 88.1 FM HD1 Raleigh. To listen to past episodes of Eye on the Triangle or re replay this one, please visit wknc.org forward slash podcasts. The music for this episode is titled Noah Stark by Krakatoa and was made available through a Creative Commons license. You can check wknc.org forward slash schedule to catch the next episode of Eye on the Triangle Live. Until then, this has been Nick Pinto with WKNC 88.1.